Hey, <laughs> I'm Zira. Welcome back. Um, I, oh, that thing, but I do, with my hands, I gotta stop doing that, you guys. I, I, I do this. And it, it's irritating. And because it's not loud in my ears when I do it here at home, you know, the house, I guess, absorbs the sound. But that little camera of mine picks up every little thing. I have to stop. I gotta get out of that habit. <sighs> All right, let's try to do this without doing that. So, I am Zira. This is the Love of the Dark podcast, and that is my phone, which won't stop going off. I'm going to turn it down so that it shuts up while I'm doing this. Okay. Anyway, Love of the Dark, I'm Zira. I'm known as Love of the Dark on Ravelry, here on DeviantArt. Um, lots of different places. On Instagram, however, I'm ZZZ, like zebra, Z, 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 I, R, A, A, A. I just did it again. Oh my God. This is going to be a really hard habit to break. The flopping of the hands. Ah! All right. I'll do my best. I swear. So I am not one of the lucky ones. Let me. Let me go back and explain that because I'm totally lucky. That's ridiculous. I am so lucky. It's not even funny. For crying out loud, my my partner is a massage therapist. Let that sink in for just a minute. Yeah, I'm damn lucky. I'm spoiled is what I am. But what I meant to say is that I do not yet have the luxury of staying home to make crafting a full-time endeavor. Um... I watch a lot of podcasts and sometimes it's easy to put myself down for not having, you know, two pairs of socks and a sweater and a half a dozen cat toys and six new bags done in between like each one week episode, <laughs> like some of you guys, know. but you know, that's fine. It just dawned on me that some of these folks have a situation that allows for that kind of productivity and I just don't. So I don't need to put myself down for it. I just need to do what I can do in the time that I've got to do it. And that's, that's all there is. Stop doing the thing. Arr. Anyway, uh, no pressure, no judgment. I don't need to be judging myself over that. I judge myself on enough other things. I don't need to be dolloping that on top of the pile. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel better now. And how about you? You know, you may be one of those folks that do stay home and maybe you still don't get all that stuff done. You know, you shouldn't knock yourself down for not living up to a standard that doesn't fit with your reality, right? Yeah. So anyway, I feel like this will be kind of a short thing today just because I don't have a whole lot to share with you and I'll tell you, well, I'll, uh, I'll tell you why later. <laughs> I swear I'm going to stop. Oh God. There's this other thing that I do. Um, I rescue animals sort of porcelain, ceramic, wood, anything that's paintable. I find these just god awful, terribly painted old granny looking just atrocities and no offense to old grannies. I'm technically old enough to be a granny. So thank you, my dear daughter for not making me that, but, um, you know, I'm there. Uh, anyway, these things sometimes have the worst paint jobs you've ever seen and they just look horrible. And of course, no wonder they're in the dumpster or they're, you know, at an estate sale and someone's selling it for 25 cents. Nobody loves it. Nobody needs it or wants it because it's ugly. Jeez. All you got to do is give it a little fresh coat of paint for some new life <laughs> or death. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hope it'll focus. Focus. This is a mama and a baby deer, and mama's got a little spider webs in her ears. And there's her little tail. Oh my gosh. I gotta see if I can focus. There we go. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around, focus. Oh my god. Look at the little baby. The little eyeball and that little chaos star inside of his little ear. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing ever. And it was hideous before. It had this really awful floral, stupid, like, floral fabric decoupage onto it. It was terrible. Nobody would love it. 
Anyway, and then, okay, so there's one more that I want to show with you that's, the, I know this is not fiber related. It's okay. You're going to live. I'm going to live. We're all going to live for a while. So, this other one that I have, <laughs> I found it and I thought, oh my God, I will never find anything like that again. I have to get that right now. And it was several years ago. And then a couple of days ago, I was at my local Goodwill and what did I find but her twin holy cow so I want to show you her twin because I've not painted her yet to give you an idea of what she looked like before okay ready I hope this doesn't blow out too bad with my with my crazy lighting oh my god she's a pregnant mama piggy look at those boobies they're all poofy ready to be nursed on oh my god right so ridiculous so she's laying there with her little, she's just relaxing. Pardon me. So this is what I did to her little twin. Mama Piggy with babies inside. Look at the little piggy fetuses. Focus thing, focus. There we go. Little piggy fetuses in her tummy. Can you get over that and her pretty little sugar skull face with her little spider webs and her little spider for luck and her little backbone with her curly little tail Woo. and backwards. Can you get over her? I can't. She is just too adorable. So she's going to have a twin sister. They'll have different markings, but that's the other thing I do that isn't you know, crafty or isn't fiber related is that. So yeah, tell me what you think. If you like them, <sighs> other works in progress. I don't have a lot today. I'll, I'll tell you, um, oh, that's not a whip. That's yeah, that is a whip. Okay. So first of all, this one, this one is in this adorable little I don't know what these are called. I think it's called an origami fold bag. I looked them up because I wanted to make more of these after I got this. Um, I wanted to make more for myself, but I couldn't find exactly the pattern. But it's got like petals on top and it just kind of gathers itself up. It's really, really cute. And um, my friend on Ravelry, Lynette Graham, Lynette G on Ravelry, made this bag for me. Um, as one of, it was one of the swappy swap things that we do in one of our groups. And I absolutely love it. That's when it's flat. So it's kind of like one of, it's almost like one of those little things. I can't remember what those are called from your childhood. You know exactly what I'm talking about though. It's kind of like one of those. Super beautiful. Um, so there's that. That's a pretty gift from her. And then the work in progress that's inside of it is my hand spun. It's 50% 50, 50 merino, and this ball is a mess right now because I had to unwind it and rewind it. My cats were messing with it. Anyway, 50% merino wool and 50% alpaca. The white is, al is merino and the brown is alpaca. So I spun them individually and then plied the two together. I'd never done anything like that before. I didn't know if it would work, and I, I think it worked pretty well. It's a, I would call it a thick and thin, except that it's not. It's more like a thick and thicker. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty fat yarn. But this is what I'm making with it. It's going to be a hat. I mean, it is a hat. It's just not a finished hat. Wee, I'll put it on for a minute. It's super cute. It's my own pattern. It's got columns of... Oh, you can see the cable. Yeah, it's got columns of cables and, and ribs. I've seen lots kind of like this, but this I'm just doing this as I go, winging it. And the, the decreases are happening at this point. Um, I don't like a very long hat. I kind of like them to sit right about eyebrow length and then just hit at the very base of my hairline. I don't really care too much for the ones that you can like fold up. I don't know. Those just seem like boy hats to me and I like girl hats and this is more of a girl hat but I know that really doesn't make any sense. There's no such thing as a boy hat or a girl hat. Hats are for heads not vaginas or penises. So there's that. I hope I don't get my channel shut down for those two words. Anyhow, there's that work in progress. Excited about that. Um, my other work in progress is my find your fade and I was going to be done with it today and I was really excited. And last night as I was knitting on it and I was like, I've got maybe that much more to go. I'm so close. I'm just going to finish it. I, I went to kind of 
lay it out upon myself, uh, like blanket style, as I'm knitting on it. And I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, something's not right. Oh, 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 shit. You know what I did? So between, there's G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's seven colorways, okay? In between E and F, there, you're supposed to knit a certain amount in between each one, right? So in between E and F, where you're blending one into the other, da -da 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 -da, and then you move on with F. I forgot to move on with F, and I went directly from <laughs> the blending of colors into the eyelet pattern of the next. Oh, my gosh. So it's, you know, that much too short. Ah! Oh! Oh my God, I was so, I was just like, I'm going to put this down now. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to have some good dreams. I'm going to wake up in the morning and not tear my freaking hair out. Which I didn't. I ended up, uh, I thought, well, maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just change it up. And I'll just add those 15 rows in now. And maybe kind of change up the pattern of, um, of the color change, the color blending. And then I was like, forget that. I haven't done that throughout the entire project. So why would I start doing that now? That's ridiculous. So I ripped back to the previous garter stitch section, which is maybe two or three hours worth of work total. Probably two, three, because I was watching Netflix at the time. And I'm not one of those that can really knit and watch a TV show. I can listen to a show and look up once in a while, knit, 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 and look up once in a while. But I can't like Knit, 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 while I'm like looking straight ahead because I drop stitches and then I get really pissed. It's just ridiculous. If you can do that, oh, I bow to you. You're so rude. <laughs> anyway, so, oh, stop doing that, Sierra. God, I'm never going to get used to not doing that. Anyway, those are my works in progress right now that I care to talk about. When I'm done with this fade, which should be tonight or tomorrow because I'm going to after this thing, I'm going to get on it and I'm going to get it done. I've got my taxes done. I don't have anything else to do all day. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish it. Grr. And then after that, I'm going to go back to this doodle bug shawl. I didn't mention it in the last podcast because I didn't want to be like, oh, the woes, the woes. But um, Lynette G, the gal who made me that beautiful bag, um, also had me test knit a pattern for her. And I got so distracted and so lost so many times in it that I just freaked out and quit. I was like, forget it. I can't do it. I just am not going to do this. And the thing is, it's not that difficult of a pattern. I've done way more difficult things. It's beautiful. And I really would like to be able to finish that for her. So I think as soon as I finish this fade, I'm going to go ahead and give it another try. And what I did, the pattern itself, I think, the font that was, and this sounds really silly. Oh, yeah, sure, blame it on the font, Zira. But but honestly, the font is very fine, and it's a very pale color, and I'm used to kind of a bolder, blacker font. So I went through the whole thing, and I, I reworked the font itself into a way that I can read it better. And I think that's going to save my keister, and I think that's going to help me actually be able to finish that thing. Right about now. Oh, they do have water. I was like, I really wish I had water. Anyway, I'm going to finish that thing. I'm going to do it. It's not going to kill me. I'm not going to lose my marbles. Well, I hope not. I've only got a couple left. So anyway, that's going to be my next project. And I'm also going to join. It's a little late in the year. Stop it, phone. God, that thing won't stop. They all want to talk to me. <laughs> um, I want to start the box of socks knit along that is being hosted by Volenbein, by Kristen from Volenbein. And I don't think it's too late. I knit socks really quickly. And I know that it's already April and I haven't started any, but I think I can catch up. I'm pretty sure I can do like, I could pretty, pretty much do a pair a week. I really can. I don't know that I will, but I want to, I want to try. I got a box. I've started decorating it. I'll show you that another time. Maybe in a couple of months, I'll show that off when it's all finished being decorated. Super cool. Super fun. Oh, uh, anyway, if you don't know what the box of socks is, it's you knit 12 pairs of socks throughout the year. And then at the very end, you have a beautiful box that you've put your socks in. And then you can enter into the, the giveaway for that, which is pretty rad. Check it out on the on the Yarngasm podcast group on Ravelry. It's Yarngasm is awesome. Yay. Um, let's see. How about Stash? 
I'm going to talk about some non-fibery stash first. And we're almost done. I'm, I'm almost at the end of this because I don't have a whole lot to share with you guys this week. But I wanted to pop in anyway. This stuff is so great. These are fat quarters that I got. They're not ironed out or anything yet. I just opened them up so that you could see them. But check this out. Let's see here. This is the nightmare before Christmas. Oh, uh, let's see which way is better. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do anything. You're just going to see it or you're not. <laughs> There's one. I got a bunch of them. Check this one out. Oh my God. Look at little Jack on his little hill. And the little baddies. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even. And look at this. Ooh, there's some purple. And there's some Miss, little Miss Sally and Jack and them on their hill. I've got allergies. They're driving me crazy. There's some Sally fabric. Just pure Sally. There we go. In her little coffin-shaped mirror with her little fish bones and sewing needles. Oh, my God. Here's some more. Oh my god, some of the Halloween Town kids and the spooky stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, these are going to make so many adorable little bags. And um, oh, I might make myself a new needle roll out of some of these. Oh my god, no, I'm not going to do that. I hate needle rolls. I hate them. I've had one for like 10 years and I hate it. I don't hardly ever use it because I hate it because it sucks. Oh my god, Jack. Look, you've got Lock, Shock, and Barrel in this one, and the Mayor, and the Oogie Boogie Man, and Zero. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to use one of these fabrics to line that bag from last week that I talked about. my um, The Entomology Sling Purse with the big spider on the front. Maybe I'll use this one for that. Just jack faces. That would be super, super cute. And the gray on that is a little bit of a reddish gray. It's on that end of the spectrum as far as grays go, so that would work pretty well. Oh, ready? Woo, look at that brightness. Creepy Jack. And then I got several, I'm not going to unravel each one of these, you guys, but I got some coordinating fabrics to go with all of those. La -la. Yes, that's that, and that's that. And I have just two more things to show you. I don't think I have anything else funny to say or charming or witty or even smart to say this week. Mm. But I do have some hands on yarn. Mm. So this turned out to be, you know what, I should weigh these. I have a, a drug scale, I guess it's called. It's not a kitchen scale. It measures down to like grams. So yeah, it's a drug scale. I have one of those. And... Um, I don't know where it is right now, so I can't tell you how much this weighs. I'm going to guess that this is probably about 70 grams. Somewhere between 60 and 70 grams. But it is a merino and alpaca. It's an overspun single, moderately thick and thin, 84 yards. It's really soft. And there's like, you can see in here, there's some pinks and purples and blues. So good. A little bit fuzzy, a little bit of a halo from that black alpaca. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And the next one I have uh, probably weighs four ounces. <laughs> four ounces? No, not four ounces. Two ounces. Probably two full ounces. Maybe three. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, and I don't even know what an ounce weighs. Why should I guess? I don't know. <laughs> this is four ounces, damn it. Look at the size of that thing. It's gigantic. And it's fluffy, fat, delicious yarn, and it's plied with a beautiful um, metallic... No, it's not. It's plied... I'm sorry. This is the wrong one. It's plied with a cotton... It's plied with a cotton thread. It's not a metallic cotton thread like the other one is, but that's okay. But it's, um, oh, it's so many pretty colors. This is, um, this was a bat that I dizzed off of my hackle, and it's got wool, silk, cotton, locks, different kinds of long locks. It's got bamboo. It's got some ramy in it, 
some sparkle. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's like the kitchen sink of yarns. And it's pretty soft. I'm kind of surprised how soft it is. Um, even with that cotton um, ply yarn, ply string or whatever. But it's pretty. It's beautiful and soft and fluffy. That makes me happy. So those are the things I have today for you. Yay! Um, let's see. What do you want to see? If you want to see something particular, let me know. Leave it in the show notes. Or leave the show notes. <laughs> I don't even have the right words, guys. I'm such a noob. <laughs> leave it in the notes. Leave me a note down there where you do. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see. I guess I could show you like my pattern stash. I'm probably not going to do that. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I will never knit every pattern that I have. I have binder upon binder. I have a library, a library of patterns because if I find a pattern that I like, I save it, I print it out and I put it in a plastic protector and I put it in a binder in the appropriate place. They're all organized. It's very neat and tidy. Unlike the rest of my life. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you're having an awesome week. Be crafty, make some things, and join my Ravelry group. I figured I'd start a Ravelry group since I have the podcast. Leave me a note to stop doing the dang thing with my hands. Don't do that, Zira. <laughs> my Ravelry group is Love of the Dark Fiber Arts. Look it up. It's in there. Join, chatter, have some fun. I will hope that... At some point in the near future, before the summer is over, I would like to start a knit along and I would like to have some giveaways. So that'll be coming. It's not right now, but it's coming. Have a great week, guys. Bye.